Hi, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use integration as the opposite of differentiation. Later on in this series, we'll be using integration to find the area under a curve and even to find the volume of a solid. So we need to remind ourselves on how we differentiate equations. So if we have y is equal to 4x to the 3 plus 2x squared plus 5, and we were to differentiate this, we would get dy by dx. We would multiply the 3 by the 4 to get 12. And then we will take 1 away from this power, so 12x squared. Again, we would multiply the number 2 here by this power of 2 to get 4. And then we will take away 1 from this power, so 4x. And we will drop the constant term here. So 4x to the 3 plus 2x squared plus 5 differentiates to make 12x squared plus 4x. And these are the rules that we used. We multiplied the a by the power of n, and then we took 1 away from the power. So we're going to look at integration, and this is the opposite of differentiation. So rather than multiplying by the power of n, and then taking away 1 from the power, we're going to reverse the order, so we add 1 to the power, and then we divide by the new power. So you can see in this formula here, we have x to the n. If we integrate it with respect to x, we add 1 to the power and divide 1 by the new power. So we'll begin by integrating this equation here. So we have 12x and then we add 1 to the power, which is cubed. And then we divide by the new power, which is 3. And for 4x, we add 1 to the power, which is currently x to the 1, so it becomes x to the 2. And then we divide by the new power, 2. And now to get back this 5, we add a constant. And this constant term comes from when you drop the constant term when you differentiate. We can simplify this. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so 4x four cubed. 4 divided by 2, which is 2x squared plus c. So you can see we've gone back from the gradient function back to y is equal to using the process of integration. So now we're going to integrate the questions from a to d with respect to x. So for question a we have 3x squared so when we integrate this we still have a 3x but now we're going to add 1 to this power of 2 to make 3. Then we'll divide by the new power, which is 3, and we'll add the constant term. We can simplify this because 3 divided by 3 will cancel to make 1. So we have x cubed plus c. And the question b, now even though we've got a negative power, the rule remains the same. So we've got 2x, we add 1 to this power of negative 3, so it becomes negative 2. And then we divide by the new power of negative 2. And we add the constant term. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative, negative 1. And then x to the negative 2, we can write it as a power. We could also have written it as a fraction, plus the constant term. OK, so now we've got an idea on how we integrate. Do you want to try and integrate questions C and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so for question C, to integrate this, we're going to expand out the brackets. So we have 2x to the power of 3, and then x squared times 1, which is just x squared. So we now we'll add 1 to the power of 3. So we have 2x to the 4, and we'll divide by the new power. And for the x squared term, we'll add 1 to the power of 2, so x cubed divided by 3 and remembering to add the constant term. We can simplify this. 2 divided by 4 is a half. So a half x to the 4 plus x cubed over 3 plus c. OK. For question d, well, we have 6x. We'll add 1 to the half. So 1 half added to 1. Well, 
and I'm going to add fractions I want within denominator. So now I've got 3 over 2 over 3 over 2, the new power, plus the constant term. I can simplify this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2. So then needs will cancel. So now we have 12x to the 3 over 2 over the 3 plus c. And then we can simplify 12 over 3 to make 4x to the 3 over 2 plus the constant term. Okay, so now we're going to move on to finding this constant term using a point along the curve. Okay, so in these questions, we've been told that for each of the following, the curve y equals f of x passes through the given point, which is this point here, or this point here for question b. And we've been told that the gradient function of f of x is 5 minus 2x. So, f dash of x is 5 minus 2x. And when we integrate this function, we'll get back to f of x, which is y. So y, when we integrate this, well, it's currently 5x to the 0. And when we add 1 to the 0 power, we get 5x to the 1, and we divide by the new power, minus, and this is 2x to the 1, so we can add 1 to this power, so minus 2x squared, divided by the new power, plus the constant term. We can tidy this up. So we have y is equal to 5x, and these will cancel to make 1, so minus x squared plus c. And now at this point, we've been told that x equals 1 and y equals 7. So we can substitute these two values into this equation to find our constant term. So 7, which is y, is 5 lots of x, or 1, Minus the x squared, so 1 squared, plus c. So 7 is equal to 5 minus 1 plus c. So 7 is equal to 4 plus c. So c will equal 3. So finally, the function y is equal to 5x minus x squared plus 3. Okay? So do you want to try and work out the function for question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So before we begin to integrate, I'm going to expand these brackets out. So we have the gradient function of x is 3x squared times x, so 3x cubed, and then 3x squared times negative 4, so minus 12x squared. So now we can integrate this gradient function. So y will be 3 lots of x now to the power of 4 over the new power minus 12x to the 3 again over the new power plus c. We can simplify each of these terms. So y is equal to 3x to the 4 over 4, minus 12 divided by 3, which is 4, x cubed, plus c. And now we've been given a matching point of x and y. So when x equals 2, y equals negative 10, we'll substitute these two values into our equation. So negative 10 will be 3 lots of 2 to the 4, over 4, minus 4 lots of 2 to the 3, plus the constant term. So now we have minus 10 is equal to 12, minus 4 lots of 8, 32, plus c. So minus 10 is equal to negative 20 plus c. So c will equal 10. So finally, we know the equation of a curve. is y is equal to 3x to the 4 over 4 minus 4x cubed plus 10. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.